What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be doing a play test and review of the Genio Grip Socks. I want to thank them for sending them out to me. This is not a paid promotion at all. They sent these out to me to do an honest review about them. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. But I do want to thank them for sending these out to me and I'm going to give my honest review and play test today. So if you guys want to watch it, let's get to it. So that is the play test done. Now I'm going to go ahead and break it down into a couple different sections to go ahead and talk about all the different areas and what I liked about them. So let's go ahead and break it down section by section. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and talk about my first impressions of the grip socks whenever I got them in. So whenever I got them, obviously they came in a package and this was the packaging I thought was really nice, very professional looking. Uh, I love whenever I get packaging that has like their logo or anything on it from whatever brand I get. I just feels like it's a nice added detail and it just makes it look that much more quality. Then they also sent a little sticker to go along with it, which I thought was a nice added touch. And then they actually sent me out two pair of grip socks, a white pair and a black pair. And the packaging with that was also very nice as well. I'm one of those, I really pay attention to the packaging. Back whenever I was a little bit younger, I used to do a little bit of sales in a different area, uh, but I always made sure that I paid attention to the packaging, tried to make it as nice as possible. So I always really appreciate whenever a company pays attention to their packaging and everything that goes along with it on the inside. So to continue about the first impressions, I took them out the very next day. I had a small group training session with some of the guys from my team and I took them out for about a three hour session that we did. And I have to say, I really did love the fit and feel of them in that short span of time that I played with them. I've only had a few sessions with them so far, but I do have to say, I really do like the way that they fit and feel right now. I also love the look of them. I like how it's very original, the way it has the their logo on the front part. I like how it has this really subtle detailing on the back part of the sock. And then I like how it's not just dots or anything like that on the bottom with the actual grips. I like how it says kind of honeycomb pattern on the bottom. It's just more unique. It just makes it look like they were trying to be more original and everything, which I really appreciate. And I just think that was a very nice touch. Also, I love how the actual length of the crew sock isn't too long. I've gotten a couple grip socks here lately where the part that goes up your calf is super long and I kind of have to scrunch it down because I hate my socks going over my calf when they're meant to be crew socks. But these are really good. They go like right below where my calf muscle starts 
and I really like that detail. I just feel like they put in a lot of thought and effort into making these. So now we're going to go ahead and break it down into these other three sections. We're going to start off with dribbling. So I felt like they did really well in the dribbling. I liked how secure that the grips felt on the bottom. Felt like it did help give me that little bit extra lockdown and traction whenever I was making sharp cuts and sharp turns while dribbling. Uh, it just felt really good. One thing I do have to say is that I wish that the grips would have also been on the inside of the sock. These only have grips on the outside. I've kind of been a little bit spoiled to where the first pair of grip socks that I ever had had grips on the outside and inside. So I'm really used to that and I feel like it does a little bit extra on gripping your foot and the cleat. But a lot of companies here lately have been just putting the grips on the outside. So that's kind of one of those things that people are kind of going away from, it seems like, doing grips on the inside and outside. But for me personally, I do like having the grips on the inside as well. But overall, during the dribbling, it did feel like the grip socks helped grip my cleat very well. Uh, I just had, you know, just that typical sock slippage when my foot was in the sock. But overall, it was way better than a normal sock and it felt really good. Moving on to the second part is the speed and agility. So right now I do have a little bit of a groin strain, so I wasn't able to test this out too much with like really intense sprints or anything. But from what I did use at the small group session and with the play test is that I felt again like I had good lockdown and extra traction with the grip socks when doing like the speed ladder and sharp cuts and everything like that. It definitely does give you that little bit of an edge where it helps just grip the inside of your cleat just a little bit better, just like with any grip sock. And uh, it felt like it just really did the job. For the third section, we're going to move on to shooting. Again, I didn't take too many shots because of my groin strain. I've got my season coming up soon, so I'm trying to be very careful with what I'm doing. But again, it felt like it performed pretty well. Again, you do kind of have that little bit of slippage inside the sock, just like you would with any sock. That's why I wish the grips were also on the inside. But overall, it does what a grip sock is supposed to do. It helped grip the cleat, it helped give me that little bit extra stability whenever I would plant my foot to take the shot. And overall, it just did the job. So now moving on to everything that I liked about the grip socks, where um, we're gonna go straight into, I liked the design. I liked how they had their logo on the front part of the crew sock. I liked the little design pattern running on the back. I liked the honeycomb pattern of the actual grips itself on the bottom of the sock. It feels really original and it's just a very nice subtle touch to me. And also I feel like the grips on the bottom do feel to be a little bit thicker than some of the other grip socks that I have tried out. With this kind of pattern, I feel like the lines are a little bit thicker than some of the dots that some of the other brands put on. So overall, I was very pleased with that. Now moving on to the thickness of the sock, I felt like it was good. It wasn't too thick, wasn't too thin. Uh, especially on the bottom, I felt like the bottom did a very good job on, you know, really kind of wrapping my foot and being a little bit more cushioned. And obviously the top, they make it to where the top is a little bit more breathable and everything. So overall, I can't complain about that. And then lastly, I do like the actual height of the crew sock. Like I said earlier, it wasn't too tall, but it's not too short. It was right exactly how I like it for me personally. Now moving on to the things I feel like they could have done a little bit better is like I said earlier, I do wish that the grips were also on the inside. That's just kind of my personal preference on my grip socks. I like for my grips to be on the inside and outside. It's not bad at all. You do get good traction, but for me personally, I feel like it could be improved a lot with the grips being on the inside as well. Secondly, I do wish that maybe the bottom was a little bit on the thicker side. I'm sure you guys, if you've seen my other videos, have heard me talk about how I like my socks to be a little bit on the more cushioned side, but overall this is a very happy medium and I can't really complain too much about it because it will probably fit everybody's taste perfectly because it's right there in the middle. But if I was getting very nitpicky, I would probably just wish that the bottom was maybe just a little bit more on the cushioned side. And lastly, this isn't a complaint. This is just something I'm not too sure of yet. 
because I've only worn them a few times. I'm not too sure about how the durability will be. I know with a couple of the other grip sock brands that have been coming out, especially some of the grip socks that are in like the cheaper category, they do wear down very easily, usually after a couple of months. So I don't know what the full durability is going to be like, but from what I can tell so far, they do feel very well constructed. They feel well made and I don't see myself having any major problems here in the future. For me personally, I wear down my socks really bad. I don't know why. Every pair of socks that I have, whether it's like an Adidas crew sock, any kind of grip sock, or any kind of regular sock that you wear on a daily basis, I always seem to wear them out really bad in my heel. I don't know why, it's probably just the way my foot is shaped, but I don't see myself having too many problems here in the future. Obviously socks are going to break down after a while because of the intense pressure that they go with in the, inside the cleat, you know, with all the changes of direction, especially in soccer. So they will wear down eventually, but I don't see that happening very soon. But that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this video. My overall thoughts is that I really do enjoy these socks. I probably am going to go ahead and purchase a few more. I do wanna go ahead and thank them again for sending these out to me to test them and review them. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video and I hope you guys you know, found this video helpful. But that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next one.